Today I'm going to show you 20 licks for the House of the Rising Sun. Now this is an old folk song, um, made famous in 1964 by the animals, but it's a lot older than that. Uh, it's a song about um, a warning <laughs> as to what can go wrong when you end up in a place like the Rising Sun. Um, it's a great song for blues style playing and that's what we're going to concentrate on. First of all, uh, I'll just run through the basic melody. I've written it out in 3 4, although it could be written out in 6. Um, so I'll just play uh, the basic simple melody, but up to tempo. <laughs> So, nice and simple, um, a lot of the licks we're going to do are going to be based on the A minor blues scale, and this is lick one. And basically this is the A minor pentatonic scale, the five note scale. flattened fifths added. There. Yeah. So you can base licks around this or you can actually use it as a lick itself. So let's just uh, try doing exactly that. Um, first of all up and down the scale. attention to the chords and um, that's one of the beauties of this chord sequence is it acts like a blues uh, although it's not a blues it's not a 12 bar sequence and it doesn't have just the three normal blues chords but you can play the same scale through it as much as you like um, we're going to start off with um, a series of really simple licks and I'm going to show you how simplicity will often be very effective on a tune like this so, uh, lick two is... Um, that's your lick, and on that long E note... I'm doing false harmonics, and I'm getting these by... Firstly by lowering the pressure of the bow making it whistle, moving the bow faster and you can also lower the pressure a little bit on your left hand and there's a whole load of uh, extra harmonics you can get just by altering those, those different things so let's try playing um, this lick over and over through the sequence Altered 
the, the very end of it uh, to make it fit the end of the chords. But basically you can see how this fits uh, through the different parts of the sequence. Uh, another one, uh, similar idea. Sounds like nothing, but once, you, once it's over the chords, you'll see what we've got. So again, I was doing the, the heavy harmonics on the, on the C note at the end. Uh, now let's do some licks in third position. So uh, third position with the blues scale. Your bottom note is a D with the first finger. So those notes are going to last us for the next few licks. So uh, lick four is again sounds like nothing. Well, let's hear it with the chords. Doubling, we can do a whole load of just double E's. Second finger, again that double E, and we're bringing the first finger up next to it, and then doing one, two, four. to the fourth finger, we're going to go up to the first finger on the E string, like that. So let's do that one, I'll stick in some of the previous one, the previous two, along with it. Now, um, 
section is a an E flat. So uh, we're doing uh, with the fourth finger and uh, wide vibrato and maybe some bending as well. I was uh, bending right up to the E natural. So um, let's do some especially for the E7 chord because that's the only place really where the, the feel of the chords changes a lot. So it's quite nice to get in uh, uh, some G sharps uh, which don't fit incidentally within the blues scale. So um, just taking it up to, the, to there. And then that naturally leads up to the, um, the A note for the A minor chord. Uh, you could also do an arpeggio. And then um, either end on the E again or end on, on a C. Uh, so let's hear that. And again, we'll lead up to it from the beginning. So, um, I think it's a good idea to make use of those E7s rather than just ignoring them and ploughing through the blue scale. Uh, now, you can do some nice things with the, um, the minor pentatonic scale. So, that's just going down the scale in steps. Uh, so, three notes. Up one. So, easy enough. and we're slowing them in threes. Let's uh, alternate those two descending licks. melody note I was also playing fingering two strings and playing the melody note same melody notes on the string above which gives you a whole load of unexpected um, harmonies um, we can do the minor pentatonic ascending um, slow first, then I'll do it in triplets.
as with a lot of these licks, uh, there's lots of different ways of using the same pattern of notes. And in fact, all of them can easily be taken over into 4-4. Four, four. Um, even though all of these are in 3-4, all of the ideas are going to work perfectly well in 4. Um, now, so far we've mostly ignored the chords, but this time we're going to do arpeggios based on the chords. So... So now we're emphasizing the change in chords. And I think it's nice to um, not stick with the same feel all the time. So if you use the just the blue scale or just the pentatonic scale all the time, I think that would get a bit a bit boring. So actually um, moving to the chords occasionally is quite nice. Now rhythmically, uh, we've got a series of uh, licks now that have a six eight feel, like a da 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 da, and that's the first one which uh, played across the 3-4 feel is quite interesting. Next one. So we've got an A at the top, we're sliding a second finger up from an E flat to an E natural. This is the To Infinity and Beyond lick. And um, if you're going to do a solo and you want to get an applause at the end, uh, and this happens at jazz gigs, it tends not to happen at other gigs, but it's expected in jazz. So you need a big ending, and there's no bigger ending than this one. So you start off with uh, two E's, and you get your right hand going as fast as you can. You slide up as far as you can go and you try and hit the top um, just in the right place. So I'll do a um, I'll do once round and I'll end up with that hopefully in just the right place.
stage or uh, the crowd goes wild depending on how much confidence you put into it and how drunk everybody is. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will enjoy the House of the Rising Sun next time you play it. Um, I'm going to play three times or possibly four times out and um, do a mixture of various of these different licks. Hope you enjoyed it. If you um, become a subscriber, send me an email and I'll send you a copy of all the dots of all these licks. Uh, see you again soon.